Hello everyone and welcome back to This Is Real Life. I'm your host Sherry and today we have another episode of DIY Wednesday. What are we going to be DIYing today? Well, I will tell you. We're going to be DIYing Bob. Seriously Bob. Anyways, what are we going to be DIYing today you ask? Well, here it is. With St. Patrick's Day just around the corner, I thought, what better DIY than a St. Patrick's Day DIY? And it's like, what can you do for St. Patrick's Day? There's nothing like, oh, let me put decor all over my house for St. Patrick's Day. Believe me, I looked, and the only thing I could find was Wayfair.com, and they had some okay wall art. So, I went to the Dollar Tree, and this is what I got. I thought a cute St. Patrick's Day wreath on the door might be something nice and minimal just to be like, yeah, we support St. Patrick's Day, but we're not gonna go full out inside of our house or anything. While you may have seen a million wreaths made before, this is gonna be a million and one. I didn't want it to look super cheesy. I just wanted it to kind of be minimal um, with a little hint of St. Patrick's Day. I found these berry sprigs, I guess, because you can get like the fake flowers at the Dollar Tree, but anything that looked green just looked disgusting. So I didn't want to go for that. I also got these shamrocks and they are 12 shamrocks for a dollar. I'm certainly not going to use all 12. We'll be lucky if I use one or two. These sprigs clearly were a dollar. I got this grapevine wreath for a dollar. Doesn't take a brain surgeon to figure out that everything I bought was a dollar. Oh, and I got this ribbon so that we could hang it from our door for a dollar. Side note, because I was kind of inspired by some of the wall art at uh, Wayfair.com, I found this card that I thought was kind of cute. I just feel like Bob is just not letting me DIY today. I'm gonna take this main section of the card and then I'm going to decoupage it onto this cute stretched canvas from the dollar store. Maybe we put it in like a little easel or lean it up against something on the mantle, whatever, bringing a little St. Patrick's Day indoors. St. Patrick's Day outdoors, St. Patrick's Day indoors. There you have it two DIYs for the price of one. While I didn't really have a plan in mind when I went to the Dollar Tree, I just kind of picked this and then I picked these little flowers and I was like, oh yeah, if I just like hot glue these puppies on like around here maybe, stick a four leaf clover, boom, done. That's the way I see it. So this should go pretty quickly. Each one of these sprigs has five little puff balls well i needed to get my money's worth from the dollar tree a bunch of them at the dollar tree had like a look like this basically why am i going to spend a dollar on three when i should be getting five for a dollar i'm going to probably take some apart so that i have more um play with them i just think they look cute like that they are kind of delicate because they're like little styrofoam balls i have my hot glue gun heating up and i really think that's all we're gonna need i am a little afraid they might melt when the hot glue touches them but we'll see so first step is take these little buggers off of here i'm not going to even use these fake leaves because they're gross to me and i don't want them oh let's distract the kitty go get it a dog boom 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 and boom so I bought three of these sprigs so so far this is three dollars this is four dollars this is five dollars and my ribbon was another dollar so six dollars but I'm gonna call it five dollars because you have some sort of ribbon you can hang it on your door with so we're gonna make a DIY St. Patrick's Day wreath for five dollars and it's gonna look cute we don't know it yet but it's gonna look cute because everything we do is amazing before I destroy this one I'm gonna just put it off to the side and now we're gonna arrange these little dudes around here and see what we get I'm not gonna start hot gluing yet because I just kind of want to get a feel for how they're gonna go so just kind of you know lay these around not cheesy because we're trying to be like still sophisticated but on a budget so here are my cute little sparkly shamrocks which i do think they're cute they're foam actually so they're pretty pliable i kind of am digging these little foam things i don't want to fill the whole wreath but you could do whatever you want i kind of think that i want 
it to be like more up one side and less up one side. While the lighter green sparkle really matches with that, I'm gonna bring in the darker green because I want it to pop. I think this is gonna be off to the side like that. And then these will come around, is what I'm guessing. It may look like total shit when we're done. We don't know, but the good news is if it does, we're only out five bucks. I have my hot glue gun here. It has a little bit of glue in it, so I am just going to glue a bunch of glue right here. Yep, I do this on my tile floor because the glue just peels right up. It doesn't bother me. So we've got the shamrock on, and I probably went way overkill with the glue. So that's cute, and it has a little 3D effect because of the vines. So now, we're literally just gonna start gluing these in. Sometimes I might use the stem, but sometimes I might cut it off, depending on if I can't hide it or not. We wanna make this wreath look like we didn't just hot glue a bunch of shit from the Dollar Tree on it, so we wanna try to hide everything we can. I'm gonna put some glue here, and then shove it in here. Good. Good, good. Ooh, that one goes, <gasps> that one That one looks like it was made for this wreath. I'm gonna put some glue on the stem as well as on here. Good, good, and good. Already, cute. Do I want them like kind of out and then up? Let's see. Oh, maybe so. That's kind of cute. Okay. Oh, look it. Oh no. We've got a casualty. I'm going to do hot glue here as well as a bunch of hot glue here and lay that in like so. The only problem with these stupid styrofoam balls, when one pops off, you see the white. I'm gonna glue this on because I don't like the white spot. We're just gonna stick that right back on. Whoa. So now I'm just gonna keep gluing, 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 da -da 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 -da, until I'm satisfied and then put my ribbon on top and then we're gonna be done. Okay, so one little pro tip, the hot glue on these little foam balls takes a long time to dry. So don't think you can just like plop it in, stick it down because you have to sit here and hold it until the hot glue's dry. I know for a fact I'm gonna have to go back and like kind of shake and see where things are loose, but it's starting to come together. Just be patient, take your time with the hot glue, that's all especially on these foam balls. So I actually think I am done gluing on the little styrofoam ball clusters. I think it's looking pretty cute. And I didn't even bust into my third sprig. So I only used two sprigs here, so that's $2. And I'm sorry that I have to say that I spent an entire dollar on one of these little shamrocks. If you didn't wanna do shamrock, just these all around will be cute. I know, now that I'm doing this and covering up that shamrock, I'm like, oh, that's cute. That's the way to go. Do we need it to scream shamrock? Well, when you're making your own wreath, you can decide. I've already like committed to the shamrock. It's not that I don't think it's cute. I'm just saying for multi-purpose, and now this is getting me thinking. See, this is what happens when you start doing a DIY. They actually have these at the Dollar Tree in different colors. If you took a grapevine wreath and just bought three of these sprigs and did only these, that would be cute. You should totally do that. I mean, for St. Patrick's Day, I might put this on my door for St. Patrick's Day and then rip this off and then add these on and just keep it all year round. I really like these little balls. They are very delicate, I'm not gonna lie. Like, they're delicate. So I have some extras <laughs> that fell off right here. I do wanna touch a little bit of parts where you can see it's white. We're gonna fix those. That makes me happier. All right. We just have to put the little hanger string on and make sure we don't have any glue strings. And then we'll be done. I got some grown grain ribbon in green for a dollar. I'm just gonna eyeball this. I like a simple, like, that, that's my style. Plus, since this wreath is so dainty, I don't think it really calls for much more than that. Let's cut this, put some hot glue on this. Fold it over so I don't have the raw edge. I'm just making a loop. And then we can secure the ribbon just with a dot of glue right there. And voila, 
we have our St. Patrick's Day wreath. Okay, it is really cute. With the shamrock there, it's pretty cute. You've got to admit. There we are. One St. Patrick's Day DIY done. Hee <laughs> And like I said, you can hang it up with the shamrock for St. Patrick's Day. And then, if you were like me, you bought an extra one of these sprigs and you could rip the shamrock off because Lord knows you've got 11 more that you could use year after year after year and then put these sprigs back in there. Voila, you've got another wreath. I'm gonna go hang this up and then we're gonna start St. Patrick's Day DIY number two. So I'm standing outside of my house and look how cold. Yeah, it's cold outside. But I have my wreath hanging on my door and now we're gonna walk up like we're a guest and see our St. Patrick's Day wreath for the first time. Oh, do to do, do, just look at us coming over to Sherry's. Oh my gosh, what is that? Oh my gosh, that's the cutest St. Patrick's Day wreath I've ever seen in my life. I bet she spent millions on it. Okay, so my St. Patrick's Day wreath is hung on my front door, and now it's time for Quickie St. Patrick's Day project number two. I got this card from the Dollar Tree. I'm not giving it to anybody. I just liked this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this out. I think I'm even going to go down to this ribbon part just to give it some interest. There is some, like, weird little filigree dots along here that I am not cutting around. I'm just going to cut along the straight part and get rid of all these little filigree dots. And then you're going to see what I'm going to do with it. So I just cut it out super, super quick. I want my lines really, really straight. So what I think I'm going to do, you know, my trusty tub is right by my side. So I'm going to use my blade cutter situation and I'm going to cut this and make it be straight. So we'll see how that works. Oh yeah, look at that. That's straight as fuck. This may be more energy than it's worth, but I do really want these straight. Oh, hell yeah, that looks good. Oh, come on. That is some perfect cuts. Hell yeah. make artwork out of a greeting card we got at the Dollar Tree. It's pretty amazing if you ask me. And cut. Perfect, perfect. Oh my gosh, that is nicely cut. That's gonna look like some high-end Wayfair.com art if you ask me. So what are we doing with this now that we've cut it all out? Well, I got my lovely five by seven stretched canvas from the Dollar Tree. We're gonna put this onto this. Sometimes if you're trying to do a design from a paper bag or you know, like a gift bag, you get bubbles underneath when you're mod podging the paper bag onto the canvas. So if you dampen the paper first and then mod podge it on, it doesn't bubble up. But because this card is cardstock, I don't think that's gonna be a problem for me. This top edge is gonna come to the top and then I'm just gonna wrap that around, probably cut it. Maybe I'll just cut it right now. You know what I should do? Okay, yay. Oh my God, it's perfect. Okay, and look at how cute that's gonna be. Just pretend I put Mod Podge on it, it's done. I got this at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. I have a million of them in here. I literally, this is probably not standard Mod Podge practice, but I literally just open it from here and then I kind of dump it onto the thing. <laughs> Remember to put your caps back on. This pro tip for sure. Remember to put your caps back on your Mod Podge because if you have a cat like Bob and you set it down, he'll come over and knock it over and then it'll be on your rug and then you'll have a giant hard spot on your rug. It's clear and no one knows it's there until they step on it. So put your lids on. So we're gonna spread this all over this board. Just willy nilly, it doesn't have to be great. Mod Podge is very forgiving. I just slather it on. I actually just think Mod Podge is a glorified Elmer's glue. Maybe there's something in it that makes it different. I don't know, but to me, it's Elmer's glue. And then, because I have a little extra on my brush, I'm just going to, oh shit balls. That's okay, that's okay. 
We're gonna Mod Podge the top of this anyway, so that didn't hurt it. So I'm gonna center it as best I can. Make sure my top and my bottom are lined up. Yeah, it looks pretty centered. And then we're gonna pour some more Mod Podge over the top. Boom. Oh, but will you just wait. I have extra to add to this. So more Mod Podge, more Mod Podge. Because this is kind of thick cardstock, you probably really wanna slather it on. That's really it. That's all you do with Mod Podge, it's that simple. I can tell that I'm gonna have to do another coat, but that's okay, because I wanted to do another coat anyways for my added flair that you don't know about yet because it's a St. Patrick's Day surprise. Oh no, here comes Bob. He has stepped in one of these before and then I've had cat Bob footprints in my cute little Christmas ones that I made. I'm gonna have to put this up high while it dries so he doesn't get to it. And I've put my lid on so we're safe. Let's let this dry for a bit and then we'll come back and do another coat and the secret surprise. So my first coat of Mod Podge is dry. It doesn't take that long at all. The corners seam down. If I really wanted to, I could probably stick my fingernail underneath there and peel it right off. We don't want that to happen. So we're gonna put another coat and then the special surprise. Okay, are you ready? For the secret it's gonna be great and the secret to finishing this st patrick's day wall art off is you guessed it glitter oh yeah we're gonna cover this thing in glitter this is reflections glitter from the michaels it's fine glitter in blanc rosé i just call it iridescent if you ask me all right let's just sprinkle a good coat of glitter all over. I'm doing it pretty thick, but I wanna make sure it's completely covered and we don't have any blank spots. I'm like, Sherry, you're putting on so much. Don't you guys worry. I'm a professional. I know what I'm doing. Then we're gonna tip it and we're gonna knock it off. Turn it, knock it. See how much glitter we're getting off there? Just trying to hit as much of the loose glitter off as possible. When it dries, you'll be able to see what's underneath a little better, but it will have added sparkle. Let's wait for it to dry and see how amazing it looks. So everything is as dry as I'm gonna let it get. Are you ready to see the St. Patrick's Day wall art that rivals the wall art from Wayfair.com? so cute and see the sparkles just make it look extra sparkly and pot of goldy yay our little five by seven piece you could take some of that grow grain ribbon and hot glue it to the back here and make a little hoop and then you could hang this on a wall or you could do what i'm going to do and i'm just going to lean it i'm just going to put it like on my mantle and lean it or put it in my bathroom so saint patrick's day diy we've got the cutie pie super shiny sparkly wall art and oh our so cute shamrock wreath. Oh my gosh, and guess what? $2, this little number right here. Okay, if you count the Mod Podge, $3, because maybe you don't have Mod Podge. And we'll say 25 cents, because I used glitter I already had. Super cute, St. Patrick's Day DIY artwork for $3.25. Super cute, St. Patrick's Day shamrock wreath four dollars so what you're looking at here is a saint patrick's day miracle for under ten dollars seriously who knew saint patrick's day decor could be so cute and so affordable there's our cute little sign check out our cute saint patrick's day corner so effin' darling, sitting on my cute $0 DIY side table. You have got 
to love it. All right, everybody. Thanks so much for watching this DIY Wednesday video. If you liked it, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel. Remember to share this video with your family and friends and ring that notification bell so that you are alerted to every DIY Wednesday video that I post. I try to post a DIY Wednesday video every other Wednesday at 5.30 Pacific Standard Time. So if you've rung that notification bell, you will be sure to be notified. So as always, thanks for hanging out.